Video tutorial number seven, drawing and laying out the image on your underpainting. The initial drawing for me is the most important part of the painting, and consequently it's the most difficult. It is the skeleton that your entire painting rests on and emerges from. So it is really important that you, as you put down your drawing, that it is just as you want it to be. To draw on your underpainting, I suggest either using oil pastel, which is like cray pop, because it's a tool that is close to your own hand in, in length so that you can create marks easily, you have more control. The problem with oil pastel is, is once you put down a mark with it, it is more difficult to erase, so if you're not committed to that mark, then you're stuck with it. What I personally like to use is a brush. So I keep my brushes in water with a little bit of soap. That's how they're always wet. I actually do not ever clean my brushes. You take out the brush, you dry it on a rag, you dip it into your turp substitute to clean it as much of all the color and sediment that's on it, and then your brush is ready to use. I like to draw with a brush that is small and round, and um, when you glide it along your painting, you can create thin lines. Now we're going to put down the initial drawing on the canvas. If you remember that the sketch that I thought that I would use was one that I already put into another painting but I felt that this particular flower was not represented well, so I thought I could put it onto this small canvas that we're using for this tutorial. My suggestion when you start is that you take your brush and you make an imaginary drawing in your head, kind of map it out where it's gonna go so that you can get an idea of where you're gonna put things. That's the very first step. The second step is that you're going to start to get color together. You can either take your brush to mix your color, or you can take a knife. And whatever color you want to draw with, it's up to you. Sometimes it's nice to pick a color that's in the family of the, the actual object you're going to use, or something that will stand out from the underpainting colors that you put down. So I'm picking something that is in the bluey purple family. And because you're just drawing, you're going to make it really nice and watery and thin. And what you want to do is you want to mimic, and almost like tracing it, but you don't have tracing paper, the exact angle so that you can make your drawing uh, correct and just how you want it to be. So we'll have it go off at the top, come down. This part I want to be big and right to the edge. This is a nice big thing here. Look up to see that the angle is right. which I'd like to hug in the side of the canvas. It's just an idea of mine. Let's get into some nice imaginary leaves that we have that exist here. It's your painting, so you can do whatever you want. And here's a nice bent leaf at the bottom. We'll put that in like that. And we'll have some leaves that go up here just for balance. Don't have enough paint on your brush, put it back in the turf, get more paint. And the one can go off the side. Now, if you don't like anything, you can take a rag, dip it in turf, and erase it. Doesn't erase completely, so you might want to change your color so that you can see it more as you go along. So let's put a little bit of a lighter color in there just so that it passing it along and it's lighter, so we'll see it better. So here. And maybe this needs to be a little bigger. This is 
it's the prominent point on the painting. And this, I want to go off. It's nice to have some things go off, some things hug, and some things be removed from the sides. And there you have your skeleton. And finally, the last thing that I do, which is something that I do at every stage of my painting, is I take a mirror, a handheld mirror, and I go to the regular magnification side, and I look at my painting backwards through the mirror, and if it looks like it works, and it looks graceful, and it's not weighted more on one side, it's got nice angles, it's got nice negative space, then I'm satisfied. And right now I'm looking at it, and it looks great.